Investing with Dave Jackson. Hey, I'm Dave Jackson from the School of Podcasting.com. Today we're going to talk about joining a Zoom meeting from your phone. So the first way, and this isn't the best way, but if you just want to listen to the meeting, you can do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you guessed it, I'm going to, you're going to listen to me dial a phone. So there'll be a phone number, and so this is usually given to you. So I'm going to dial it in here. Eight, blah, 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 blah. Then I'm going to hit dial. You're going to hear Zoom. Welcome to Zoom. Enter your meeting ID followed by pound. So, and that's all you have to do. So, my number, blah, 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 blah. There we go. And pound. Don't forget pound. Then it's going to ask you for this. Enter your participant ID followed by pound. Yeah. Otherwise, just press pound to yeah. continue. Number two, just press pound to continue. You are in the meeting now. There is one other participant in the meeting. The meet you have been put on hold by the host. You the cannot listen or talk until the host releases the hold. So I've done that to stop from being a, and then we get to listen to hold music. So that's the easy way to just, if you just want to listen and they can mute you and things of this nature. So if you just need to listen, you can dial in the number, Put in your meeting number, ignore the personal ID number, whatever it is, and you can listen to the meeting. Now let's talk about what if I want to use my phone, but actually join the, the meeting via video and audio. So when you click on the link that was given to you by the person running the meeting, on your phone, it's going to ask you to put in your name. So you would put in your name. Then it's going to ask you, hey, Zoom would like to access your camera so it can show your face. Now, even if you don't want to show your face, click on OK with this because you can turn the video off later. It's harder if you say don't and then later want to turn it back on. So just say OK to that. Then it's going to say, how do you want to join to hear this presentation? And typically you could say, hey, I want to use the Internet audio. It will sound better than if you dial in. So we'll say, yes, I want to call using the internet audio at which point zoom will say well then i need access to your microphone so that your voice can go back to the meeting and again you would click on okay i'll show you how to turn these off later then it's going to say all right this is what you look like now without uh with the camera now this is where if you go look I, i'm in my jammies i don't want people to see me you could say join without video then you actually join the meeting and you can see there's me in the upper right hand corner and there's me holding the meeting. And so at the bottom, you'll see there's a button there for mute. So if you want to mute your audio, maybe the dog starts barking or something like that. and You don't want to disrupt the meeting. You could do that. If you don't want the video again, you could easily stop the video. If you want to share content, there's a button there at the bottom for that. If you want to see who else is on the call, you can click on the participants. In the upper left-hand corner, if you want to mute the call, maybe somebody's trying to talk to you in the room that you're at, and you're like, look, this meeting's, I can't hear you over my meeting, you could click on that little button and do that. And if for some reason you want to show somebody in the meeting something else from where you're at, you can swap the camera from the one that's pointed at you to the one on the back of the camera. And of course, in the upper right-hand corner, if you need to leave the meeting, you can just click on leave. But in the bottom right-hand corner, you will see a button that says more. And when you click on that, you can do things like, again, disconnect the audio. You can raise your hand. Virtual backgrounds are fun, but kind of annoying and a bit of a distraction. Uh, meeting settings, you can go in there and say more things about the audio and video and things like that, as well as a chat room. So if somebody says, hey... What's that website? You could go to the chat room, type in a website address, and everybody could see that. You can also just chat to a certain person. You can also give them a thumbs up or an actual applause. That is how you connect to a Zoom meeting on your phone. And if you want to see how to connect to a Zoom meeting via your computer, click the video somewhere on this screen, and it will show you how to connect via a computer. Thanks. I'm Dave Jackson from the school of podcasting.com where I help you start your podcast and grow your influence.